Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. First things first, if you hear any noise in the background, that is my dryer. I'm drying clothes, but we need to get this video on and going. So, another Tangle Packers. Um, well, first things first, before I get in my package, there's a slit in the middle of my package. I'm unsure. I'm, just, I'm not unsure of why. As you guys can see, so everybody could just could literally put a hole or or hole or something and the package would be open but I don't know what happened this time around so and even in the back too there's a I just realized that there's a slice through it too so I don't know what was happening like they were trying to open up my package but anyway this package is a little more bigger than the other one I feel like it's more square shape I did get a lot of like household stuff so let's get straight into it I'm not gonna waste any more time because I'm hot, it is 92 degrees today, and I need to cut back the AC on before I burn from the seat. So let's just get it. Honestly, I should, you know what? I'm about to just cut right through the middle since there's already um, a hole here. Might as well. Yeah, I don't know what happened here. Alright, so let's get into it. I'm actually happy that I waited for this package to come. Um, because it's going to segue into another video that I have to do from the middle since there was already a slip there and then we'll go from there. So the first thing here that I got, um, you probably will see this in another video, but pretty much this is like a basin. So I have like a one that I use, but I feel like more so people use that more for like if they're cleaning stuff. Um, so I normally use that for my feet, but I thought this was going to be better. So pretty much it's like a foot pedicure basin thing. And what's great about it, like right now you can see it's closed. It is good for storage purposes, which I like because I can easily slide it anywhere. So from what I remember, you're supposed to, I think, push it down. Yeah, you push it down this way. I'm trying to do this well. Yeah, so you pretty much you just push it down this way. I'm trying to do camera for you guys can see and then it becomes pretty much like a tub and you put your foot in so when I do my toes at home and it comes with this little paddle also which my other like basin thing it doesn't come with a paddle so like I gotta hold it like for this you can just hold it by the ending so I just got a I don't know if this is, I think it's a pink and brown I want to say pink yeah um to do my toes and I feel like it'll be good because then also it will eliminate water from at accidentally splashing out because the other one that I have is pretty much like low so water like that has happened where I accidentally splash water but I feel like this kind of will keep everything in because it um is more like a bigger bucket and my feet will be inside so I'm excited to use that and I like like I said it's like collapsible colla collapsible that's the word I'm trying to do it though now and I'm struggling you gotta like get this part in and then once you get it in I got it in for the most part I'll fix this properly off camera but I like that I the idea of you know you can open it like you guys can see you can open it you can close it um, when you want to store it and it's just closes nicely like that so I got this so you if you see this in a video you know got it from Tingle show this really quickly so I got this because some of my pants like the waist is loose and it's annoying my sh my shorts specifically some of them so I got this it's supposed to be like a stretcher like thing where you can put it to it's stretchy but it's supposed to help you like clasp your pants or your jeans whatever close together so as you guys can see it's just a black little strap So I'm going to see if this works better than on a belt because I feel like every time I use a belt, it doesn't work. But the idea is you will put this like through the, you know, the jean hole and then you clasp it where you want it to um, close. So I'm going to definitely try this out. So at some point when I wear shorts again, my jean shorts specifically, I might even take it with me to vacation because it might just be good for holding my shorts together. So I got that. The next thing I'll go ahead and show these. Oh. This is not for me, actually. This is for somebody else. They're just like egg-shaped um, makers, pretty much. You can make the eggs into different shapes. So I'll quickly show it to you guys. But 
if anybody's interested. But this is not really for me per se. Um, so like comes with like a flower shape. And pretty much the idea is you make your eggs come into cute shapes. Heart shape. Um, this is like just like a oval -ish shape. And then a star shape. So those are the four shapes. I'm not gonna box the whole thing because again, this is not for me. I just was buying it for somebody else. Alright, the next thing, I got this, oh my gosh, why is everything beat up? Like, that's the only thing I feel like my con when it comes to Teemu sometimes. They need to do better at putting stuff like fragile or something on boxes so that people are just not throwing the box. Because what happens is they're just throwing your packages around. And if it's fragile, at least I feel like they would have some type of care. But they don't. Like, my box is literally half broken. Look, it's already opened up. Like, I don't even know what's happening with the packaging today or this time around but anyway this is a electronic magic brush so specifically you can use it for towels bath tubs i don't have a bathtub personally i have a standard shower so you can use it for sinks and wash basins i got it specifically for my sink because i feel like it just needs sometimes it just needs a, a thorough clean and with this i can use this to have a thorough clean so it says five in one because you can use it different. So the brush comes with three different effective methods. Uh, it says brush, sponge, and polisher. I feel like I might as well just pull it off the box because it's already broken. Um, there is a charger here I see inside. Um, but this is what it comes like. I don't want to unbox everything because I don't want to lose pieces. But as you guys can see, this is the spin brush. I got it in like a greenish color. Hopefully you guys can see that in the packaging. And then it comes with the different cover, the different methods for different whatever you're using. So they already have one attached. Then there's like this soft pillow, pillowy thing. I don't know what it is exactly. I have to go through the, I have to go through the box to see everything. Um, it also comes with, they said, a lanyard, a hook. I guess the hook is to hold it. So when you're not using it, you can put it on the side. It comes with a USB cord, which kind of sucks because you have to charge it every time through USB to use it. Um, and then this is just instructions, I guess, for the product. I would, I kind of, I thought it was. Only thing I would say is a bummer is that I thought it was battery operated, but it's not. But I'll make do with it. This thing that I got was just like a lumbar pillow for my back. I always feel like my back always hurts when I sleep. So it just comes like this. It's like a flower shape. It's really small. I thought it was bigger than this, but it's all good. Um, just for my back. And yeah, so I'll see how that works. Probably try it out after after this video. But tiny so I'm interested in seeing how this works I'm really disappointed that all my stuff is coming all opened up like this is my disappointment with this package going so far um, from saying this is probably the first time I'm disappointed with the packaging and that says a lot because you know I, I rave about team so much um, but yeah, so anyway, I got this um, diamond um, pattern rot rotary cosmetic storage box. It says 360 rotate. I specifically got it for my perfumes. I currently have some perfumes in a thing, but I just wanted more organization. So I got this one. So I can put all of them. And then if I have any other extra miscellaneous things, you could put like lotion and stuff like that that I have in my dresser. I'm going to put it on here. But they have the installation um, thing. I just want to make sure this is not broken because I won't be happy. It looks like all the pieces are intact, so we hope that once I assemble this, nothing's wrong with it. Um, but yeah, they gave, these are all the pieces. At least they actually put the pieces in bubble wrap so that. It won't, the glass won't shatter. So I am going to try to set it up after this. And we hope nothing, everything works well. 
I might have, unlike the last time where I showed you guys me actually unbox, like, opening things and stuff like that, I'm just gonna, um, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna actually just fix them and then probably put, like, photos or little quick videos of how they look, um, just to save time. But yeah, everything seems intact, even though the box came broken up again, but it's all good. Okay, next, I think this is the box that I got to put my scarves and stuff like that. I've been getting a lot of, like, organization tool stuff, so. Yeah, I was right. So this is just a clear box. I thought it was bigger. I feel like everything looks bigger in picture than it is. Um, this is way too small. This is not going to fit everything, but I'm going to try to make it fit. Pretty much I have like scarves and like bonnets and stuff that keep on falling off of my other hanging thing because there's too many of them. So that's initially why I got this box. Hopefully I can fit all of them. I might not even be able to because it's so tiny. Look at that. But we'll make a do with it. I don't remember what this is. Oh, this is the box. Oh, I know what this is. This is, um, because I don't know if you guys heard of, like, people using the sanitization box for, uh, what do you call this? For the toothbrushes and stuff, for germs. So I got one of them. This is what it looks like. So you open it up, and then the idea is you put your toothbrush inside, and it's supposed to disinfect it. Um... It comes with something else in here. I think that's the charger for it. And I just got to figure out where I'm going to put it exactly in my um, bathroom. So this takes a little bit more insulation. That's why I'm saying a lot of these things that I purchased this time around, it takes a little more insulation process. So I'm not going to do a whole like video. I'll just put a thing. This is also USB powered. So a lot of things USB powered. I'm not going to say that I'm... 100% happy about everything being USB powered, but again, I'll make do with it. We'll see how this works. I'll show you guys when I figure it out. Um, so this, I thought I could hang it somewhere, but it doesn't look like it. As far as like utilizing it, the only thing I can think of is have my toothbrush in my bedroom. Maybe that's the that's the alternative, and then keeping it in here because I have a lot of USB plugs in here. I do not have a lot of USB plugs in my bathroom. I actually don't have any, unfortunately. So I'll have to make do and figure out what to do with that. All right, and then next, this is the toothbrush holder thing. Um, I hope nothing is broken because I hear something shaking. So this is pretty much the you put your toothpaste in here. The idea is you put the toothpaste in, and then it's a toothpaste dispenser. That's what it really is. So, I don't know what's that sound. Something's like shaking, like something's broken in there. I hope not. But the idea is, oh, maybe the piece is when you assemble it, the toothpaste is supposed to come out of the this part. And then it just makes it easier. Because like right now, my toothpaste is like behind. I can't even explain it. But I have a small sink. And it's always annoying like if I need to put something else on there because the toothpaste is in the way. So my goal is with this, I can put, hopefully, it will stay on my, that's if it stays on my wall, that I can put this. And then I can um, be able to have a toothpaste dispenser where I just put my toothpaste under, I mean my toothbrush under. And then, yeah. So that's the idea of this. So again, another assembling piece, but this is what it looks like. It's I just got a, like a black gold one. Now this one didn't really come with instructions, so I'm going to have to just figure it out. Lastly, this is not for me actually. This is just a car strap, um, scratch and swirl remover. This is for my mom's car. But. but yeah, that's it. I was just checking the back. But that concludes my table haul. Like overall, this is the first table haul, like I always say again where I didn't like how a lot of my boxes came all broken down. Um, there was, like, no care for the progress. I feel like there should have been, like, that's one thing I've noticed. Tamo, I think they need to be better at just putting a big, I don't care if it's a big old just sticker that says fragile because some stuff will come broken because of that, because they're not putting fragile. Like, that glass thing should have had a 
thing that said fragile. It shouldn't have just been sent like that. Same thing with the brush. So a lot of the boxes, as you guys can see, got broken up in transit. But also, I had a slit in my package. So I don't know what was going on with that. But anyway, nonetheless, um, hopefully all these products work well. That's now like my biggest fear, like which products are not going to work too good. I think the thing that I like the most right now is my basin that I showed you guys. Everything else is like, mm, I don't know yet because I haven't tried it. Hopefully I love the pillow. As far as the other gadgets and stuff that I have to set up, we'll see how those work. But that's all I have to say. I will leave my discount code down, down below, downstairs, down below in the description box if you guys are interested in Tim. Like I said, other than this haul, all my other hauls, I was satisfied with Tim. This one, it's like a little finicky because of how the packaging was sent to me. Um, but other than that, I have nothing else to say. So make sure you like, you comment, you subscribe, hit it. You hit the subscribe button.